You'll get no argument from the folks here that Greenville's annual Pirate Fest is a swashbuckling good time for the whole family. Festivities kick off on Friday evening with a Buccaneer Bash in Uptown Greenville. Which is a band-centered event that we have food and grog and uh, kids' activities um, that goes from 5 to 8 on Friday night. And then on Saturday, it's a large street festival that expands the whole Uptown District to our town common area near the river. On Saturday, the festival runs from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., so come prepared for a full day of pirating fun. There's a parade of pirates. We do that every year, um, and typically we, we march from Town Common to our main stage area. Uh, that parade of pirates is made up of both um, true pirates, professional pirates who work with us throughout the festival, and also um, local people who love to come out. To truly be counted as a pirate, we say that you need a, a good hat, uh, an eye patch, and a sword. If you don't have these accessories in your wardrobe, don't worry. You can pick up whatever you need at Blackbeard's Marketplace. Pirate wares, so clothes and pirate goods, swords, various items like that. If it's finer spoils you're seeking, check out the Art and Treasure Isle. And that's two blocks of fine artists, craft vendors that both demonstrate and sell their wares. And so we have everything from pottery to paintings, um, woodwork metal design and it's a really great sampling of North Carolina artists, um, both lo local and from out the region. There's a little pirate's pavilion with lots of activities for the kids and BMX demonstrations throughout the day in front of the courthouse. Greenville is Protown USA and so we're really proud of our BMX heritage and so we really like to focus on that within the festival. Of course there's plenty of food and musical entertainment. We have a main stage that's in the heart of the festival on 4th and Evans, um, it's sort of in the middle of everything. And that stage we focus on uh, bringing entertainment from all areas. Um, we have local musicians, we also bring in uh, larger name bands. And we have another stage that's actually down on Town Common, that's the International Ports of Call stage. That stage operates from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. and that focuses on international cultural groups, um, performances that really highlight other cultures. The International Ports of Call features international food vendors as well. And then down by the river, Pamlico Tar River Foundation, which is one of our uh, nonprofit groups, actually provides kayak rides to the public throughout the day. Also on the town common is the Pirate Encampment. That area is full of pirates who actually camp out in the town common. Sailed across the ocean. Here you can learn about the life and times of pirates of yore. See demonstrations from cannon firings to sword fighting. And if all this seems like the life for you. We have a school of pirate where the kids and adults can learn how to actually be a pirate. They'll learn to talk like a pirate, how to act like a pirate, learn that swagger. You need to know how to say hello, which is simply ahoy. Uh, you need to know how to shiver your timbers. You need to know the difference between a landlubber and a scallywag. You need to know that rum goes with everything. It's not just for breakfast anymore. And they'll teach you some more practical pirating skills as well. They'll learn how to heave ho. They'll learn how to use a block and tackle. Uh, they'll use learn tr lookout training. So we recommend you bring those little ones down here because in these days and times, you never know when you might have to resort to a second career. And pirating's a wonderful career. Everybody loves pirates. At least here they do. Every destination wants to have something that makes them unique. And of course, being in eastern North Carolina and with the university here being the pirates. And the fact that in history, the pirates uh, did sail up as far as uh, the Tar River and Pamlico Rivers. Uh, we thought that Pirate Fest was a great way to celebrate both history and culture of the region. But also it's about exposure. Uh, we bring in a lot of people that have not been to Greenville and Pitt County before for this festival, whether they be attendees or vendors and it allows us to uh, expose Greenville and Pitt County for the first time for those folks, and hopefully uh, they like what they see and they come back for a return visit. You certainly can't argue with that. The 12th annual Pirate Fest takes place in Greenville, April 13th and 14th. For all the details, check out their website at piratefestnc.com.